Hi. Welcome Good back. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Lesson 77. I love this. I am entitled to miracles. Say it again. I am entitled to miracles. Yes. High five. <laughs> you are entitled to miracles because of what you are. Let that one just <clears throat> percolate and sink. You will receive miracles because of what God is. And you will offer miracles because you are one with God. Again, how simple is salvation? It is merely a statement of your true identity. It is this that we will celebrate today. Your claim to miracles does not lie in your illusions about yourself. It does not depend on any magical powers you have ascribed to yourself, nor on the rituals you have devised. It is inherent in the truth of what you are. It is implicit in what God your father is. It was ensured in your creation and guaranteed by the laws of God. Today we will claim the miracles that you are your, that are, excuse me. Today we will claim the miracles that are your right since they belong to you. You have been given the correction for all your mistakes. You have been promised full release from the world you made. Can you stop this? Sorry, mm -hmm. I've just we've got something missing here. Yeah, um, that we're up to paragraph three. I'm mm -hmm. reading the FIP version. You're reading the Circle of Atonement version. What you got? Uh, which is the Urtex version, right? Mm -hmm. mm. So it says here in the FIP today we will claim the miracles which are your right, since they belong to you. Mm -hmm. And then there's a sentence missing could you read that sentence you have been given the correction for all your mistakes wow that's a big one to leave out mm. so you have been given the correction for yeah. all your mistakes which is the holy spirit uh and the atonement right yes okay all right so keep reading sure you have been promised full release from the world you made you have been assured that the kingdom of God is within you mm -hmm. and can never be lost. We ask no more than what belongs to us in truth. Mm -hmm. Today, however, we will also make sure that we will not content ourselves with less. Mm -hmm. mm. It's like a stepping in and a stepping up and a claiming of what we've so long denied. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Begin the longer practice periods by telling yourself quite confidently that you are entitled to miracles. Closing your eyes, remind yourself that you are asking only for what is rightfully yours. Remind yourself also that miracles are never taken from one and given to another. And that in asking for your rights, you are upholding the rights of everyone. Miracles do not obey the laws of the world. Ooh. They merely follow from the laws of God. Right. I love that because every time that there seems to be a miracle, it really is not miraculous at all. It is the unveiling and the allowance or revealing of what God is already doing. And they blow the doors on all of the world's so-called laws. Look at what Jesus did when he came in, raising the dead and giving sight to the blind and the lame man leaps and walks and a few fishes and loaves are multiplied into thousands with leftovers and a dead man gets up and walks. I mean, you know, he just, he showed us practically through his, all of his examples, water into wine. These laws don't bind us. So as we accept our inheritance and realize what we call miracles is our divine right, he's asking us to accept it because of what we are. What are you? What you identify with houses, you place yourself under the laws of how you identify yourself. How exciting to know that we're not under the laws of the world. 
isn't it? Isn't it? So we are the will of God. That's it. Right? We are, and Jesus says this in the course, mm. that we are the kingdom of heaven. Mm. Mm. Yes. So, you know, that we are entitled to miracles. And in fact, you know, when miracles are not happening all the time, something's gone wrong. Yes. Yeah. We've That's obviously right. slipped back into amnesia, the ego's amnesia. Yeah. yeah. So if we're in any fear, we're under the laws of the ego. But when we claim that miracles are, they, they follow, they merely, miracles merely follow from the laws of God and they govern us, nothing is impossible. Now we understand why nothing is impossible and why every block, stumbling stone, it, it's removed for us, right? Well, we keep our sights on God. Anyhow, yes. Okay. After this brief introductory phase, what was that? I didn't say anything, did I? Well, it must have been Jesus. <laughs> after, this brief, <laughs> after this brief introductory phase, wait quietly for the assurance that your request is granted. Mm -hmm. You have asked for the salvation of the world and for your own. You have requested that you receive the means by which this is accomplished. You cannot fail to be assured in this. You are but asking that the will of God be done. In doing this, you do not really ask for anything. You state a fact that cannot be denied. The Holy Spirit cannot but assure you that your request is granted. The fact you accepted must be so. Mm, there is no room for doubt and uncertainty today. We are asking a real question at last. The answer is a simple statement of a simple fact. You will receive the assurance that you seek. Our shorter practice periods will be frequent and will also be devoted to a reminder of a simple fact. Tell yourself often today. Tell yourself often today, I am entitled to miracles. Mm -hmm. Ask for them whenever a situation arises in which they are called for. You will recognize these situations. And since you are not relying on yourself to find miracles, you are therefore, therefore fully entitled to receive them whenever you ask. Remember too not to be satisfied with less than the perfect answer. Be quick to tell yourself should you be tempted. I will not trade miracles for grievances. I want only what belongs to me. God has established miracles as my right. So this kind of brings to mind the fact that every thought that we believe is a prayer in itself and must be answered. Okay, yeah. so if if we if if we're if we're in a stressful situation and and we've placed our belief in a um, you know in a negative outcome, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah? And that's where our priority is. We really, we're really fearful of a negative outcome. Then that prayer will be answered by the ego yes. as a negative outcome. That's, that's right. why we, we have to break the cycle. We have to actually go within and go, what am I expecting in this moment? What am I anticipating in this stressful situation? Mm -hmm. And we have to give that to Holy Spirit, right? Because and if, if we're if we're receiving anything less than a perfect answer, remember to not to be satisfied with less than the perfect answer, because that would be a grievance. We'd be asking for evidence of a grievance. Well, it's good, but it's not perfect, or this isn't at all what I really wanted, right? It's a grievance against God, or it's a grievance against a brother. The only the perfect answer is our right. It's, it's what God intends for us. It's God's will. And anything less than that is still giving 
um, a witness to a cause that says, well, something's gone wrong. God stopped being perfect. Or there's a cause in addition to what God is doing here. So I've had this really fun experience with this lesson. And I'd like to share that with you if, if I could. Right. Um, the first one was recently I was on an airplane and I was had a connecting flight. And the first flight needed to be de-iced. And so we sat on the runway, which seemed like forever. And I knew that window of opportunity between my first flight and the second one, it was a narrow window. <laughs> And so by the time we got into the air and they were calculating when we would touch down so I could make that connecting flight, I was way over. And I was actually going to meet my daughter at the end of the second flight and all the stuff was lined up on it. And I went into despair and, and I got anxious. And, and then he, he reminded me of this lesson. And I said, I am entitled to miracles because of what I am and because of who God is what God is. And there's a perfect answer where nobody loses. And I'm entitled to that. And I just held to that. And every time I was tempted to look at my watch or, you know, or give the stewardess a dirty look, <laughs> like it was her fault, you know, I would come back and say, I'm entitled to miracles. And of course, when we touch down, and you can turn your cell phone on. I did and ping, you know, your connecting flight has been delayed 45 minutes. Oh, just sauntered off the plane, walked to the next gate, got a bite to eat, used the little girl's room, got back onto the plane to the next flight. And, you know, I sat there humbly, just why did I doubt? I didn't even have to go into anxiety and stress it out, right? You know, there's these laws that govern us that we can appeal to all the time. And, you know, for a little while, I valued fear and um, thinking that something had gone wrong. But this is a very, very powerful uh, remedy for that, to recognize and claim I am entitled to miracles. I'm entitled to a perfect answer because that is God's will. And I'm not going to settle for, you know, something less. Um, example thank you sis hold this thought yep <laughs> yeah okay. what you got for us you got a, a little prezi, a little a little prezi. prezi. So out here in northern New Mexico, you know, I hike along the hills and it's always fun. It's kind of like a little bit of a treasure hunt um, to find pottery and arrowheads and um, tools that the Native American Indians used in the dream. And I was out on this hike and I was way back in and I was getting a little disgruntled and I really shouldn't be here. I'm walking around looking at the dirt, you know, why am I doing this? And then it was like, I remembered today's, the day's lesson. It was, I'm entitled to miracles. And I just kind of giggled to myself and I said, I'm entitled to miracles. And I, I was talking to Jesus and I was having a good time thinking about, well, what could that mean? And I'm telling you guys, I swear to you, this is what happened. So I get this flash in the corner of my eye and there's a juniper bush and the, and the sun's on the other side of the juniper bush. So it's not like the sun glinted, but something caught my eye under this juniper bush. And I walked over and I picked this up and I wanna show this to you, okay? Because you don't find these. Every time you find an arrowhead, one of the parts is busted. It's kind of archaic looking. Um, you know, if you find a whole one, it's good, but they're, they're not that great. Check this out. How can I do this? Okay. I oh, want you all to hold it a bit closer, I think. Oh, okay. Lord. So this, see this arrowhead is like, you can see each of the little, I don't oh. know what to call it, the ridges, right? But this is the part that gets me, you guys. Look at how thin that oh. is. Oh, wow. And wow. It, it's totally perfect. Okay. Nothing is busted. This is the real deal. And it's like, you can see through it um, when you hold it up to the light. So this was like a master. A, a master crafter, yeah. It's and it master. could be a thousand years old, right? Oh yeah, I mean, absolutely. Right? You just, this, I, I truly believe that Jesus gave this to me. Yeah. And do you know what it symbolizes? The Christmas tree. 
I don't know. Oh, I don't, Lord. Like, uh, this, is, this is us going back up oh, the ladder right. yes. that we came down in the separation. That's it. It's the ascension. It. It, it's that, really that's, ascension. that's the arrow of ascension. Yes. It a, is. a for ascension. See? How it is. I do. And and everybody around in this area that knows about arrowheads and maybe has a collection have all agree that this is the finest one they've ever seen. So anyway, you too can work with I am entitled to miracles mm -hmm. and watch what happens. And I would love to get feedback because it's going to happen. It's God's will that we receive perfection. Only the perfect answer is God's will. So why would we want anything less? So try to yeah and that was a beautiful symbol in the dream too yes yeah thank you yeah thank I you felt like jesus and i were playing and he was laughing and pointed it out to me and it was a gift in the midst of all that so anyway all right that's it <laughs> i am entitled to miracles bring them on <laughs> thank you thanks sis thanks, thanks everyone and thank you sis yeah we'll see you next time